What's going on, everybody? Blake and Jeff here. I'm Blake. He's Jeff. And we are continuing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with episode 14. Yes. Season 1, part 2. Yeah. Episode 14. Uh, last time we had the conclusion of San Viento, our first pillar man. Correct. We learned there are more. We learned there's many more. Yeah. And I guess our next stop is Italy. Yeah. Uh, but Jojo was able to defeat San Viento by bringing him out into the sunlight uh, with the help of, uh, what was his name? Von uh, something. Von Stroheim. Stroheim? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Who sacrificed himself to get the door open. Yes, he did. Um, he did it in such a slow way. It mm-hmm. ensured that he would not be able to do it and would be um, mortally wounded. Yep. But that's okay. Okay. It's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts, and it don't matter because Ario Speedwagon is back, and he's going with JoJo to Italy. Correct. The band's back together. Yep. Well, actually, the the band with a new lead singer. With the, yeah, the great grand, the grandson of the lead singer. Correct. Not great, right? Just grandson. No, just grandson. Yeah. Um. What else happened? I mean, I guess we learned San Viento's name is Santana, but we don't. Yeah. We didn't really learn that. We learned it from. We learned it from the from thing. Plex. <laughs> well, yeah. Which I think they're ruining something that maybe is a revelation later. But maybe, but I don't know. Maybe who cares? It's a name. It's Whatever. a name, guys. And I guessed it, so yeah. it didn't matter. So yeah. it apparently is not that imaginative. If I was able to get it, you're accusing JoJo of not being very imaginative. I'm accusing JoJo of being no more imaginative than me. Okay. So, I guess it depends on how imaginative you think I am. You know, another parallel between JoJo and Dragon Ball Z is that JoJo names all their characters and stuff after, like, bands. Yeah. And Dragon Ball Z named all their characters after food. That is true. Hmm. So okay. it's like they, they like picked a thing and they were just like, yeah, let's just you know have fun and yeah, be silly with it. Well, you got to commit. Good turned out. Hey, they both turned out great. Well, I I can't speak to Dragon Ball. I can't so. speak to JoJo in its entirety. Yeah, so Although far I, I hear it gets better, and so I'm, far I'm loving so, it. So, so far I'm enjoying it, and bada, everybody bada, just bada. says get through the first one and you're good and i was like what okay yeah, i was like what do you mean get through the first i'm like i'm, I'm, I'm having a blast it. yeah <sighs> people are weird just get through the first season of lost and then it gets better it's like dude what <laughs> now that that's get through the second season of lost yeah and it gets better <laughs> truly <laughs> yeah and then get through the final season of it yeah. Some people had a problem with it. I yeah, love the final I season. People had a problem with yeah. it. Whatever. whatever, whatever. People just get through the first five seasons of Breaking Bad. Right there, you go. It gets real good. Good lord. Uh, okay, well, that's pretty much all that happened. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm expecting we're gonna meet some new characters. I'm expecting we're gonna hear some Italiente accentes. Mm, that'll be interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping there's like real shitty stereotypes happening like someone going like bada boop a boopy i hope there's pizza everywhere and meatballs mm-hmm. and pasta mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ugh, you have a blast yeah what if they get to italy mm-hmm. and they go like straight to a pillarman that and would then be they cool. fight in a cavern and then they leave italy <laughs> what if they get they get to italy they go straight to where the Pillar Man is supposed to be, but he's not there, and they learned he escaped to a different country. They So they immediately leave Italy. Right, so now it becomes, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I love it. Where in the world is Santana? Well, Santana's dead. Where in the world is the Pillar Man? Yeah, what's the European Pillar Man name going to be? Well, I guess we won't know until we hear his, like... Yeah, we don't know. ...fake name first? Maybe. 
or maybe he'll come out and say he'll be like further advanced in his English mm-hmm. or whatever, and he'll say what his name is. True. Maybe all know. exciting possibilities. Everything. Um. Well, we're ready to dive in. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Let's do. It. Hey, oh, whoa, 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 don't touch that fucking remote. We got some business to take care of. Use that language against me. <laughs> Guys and gals and everyone else. I hate opening with that, but it's just say people or y'all. Humans. We're in Texas. Say y'all. Humans. Humans. You're excluding excluding people now. Pay attention. Not people. Uh, Aliens. Yeah, which I don't care about them. Well, maybe you should. Maybe your best friend is an alien. You don't know. That's true. They still have to pay. Right. For our Patreon. Correct. Okay, so all y'all. There it is. I'll keep it Texan. I'll keep it ex- exclusive. Oh, right. Inclusive. Hmm. All y'all, uh, hit that like button. Helps us out on our little YouTube algorithm. Yeah. Also, subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell so you get notified when our new episodes and our new videos drop. I don't know why I said it like that. When the new videos drop. In my mind, I'm thinking, like, what if we create something else and they're not episodes? You know, what if you we have never, other content? You never know. You never know. So, we've, we've tried a lot so far. We've tried a lot of different things. <laughs> None of them sticks. Yeah. Get notified when new videos drop. And then check out our Patreon. We've got a link in the description below. We got multiple tiers. Figure out what you like. Subscribe to it. Let's do it. Let's go. I love it already. Italy. Rome. Maybe. No, 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 sir. Not at all. This is called a Nero di Sepia. It is a classic pasta dish made with fresh squid ink. Hence the color. Really? Signorina, accept this. A token of your beauty. It's beautiful. Look at her hair. As much as you. When you remove this at night, please think of me, and we shall be together in your dreams. Oh, man! Did that mozzarella cheese ball just say what I think he said? I didn't. I shall cast an enchantment upon it. Just a little love spell, and then you will have no choice but to fall to my passion. It's basically just the move out of Catch Me If You Can. Hamon <laughs> Disepia. This should stick to that little Casanova's enchanting face for a bit. Mm. Uh. Uh. Mm. How, how did he just do that? That, that was Hamon. Yes, I'm sure of it. Yeah, pardon the intrusion, but there is a phone call from a Mr. Speedwagon, Mr. Caesar Zeppeli. Mamma mia. Zeppeli. Zeppeli. Oh. Caesar Zeppeli. All right, we are getting the band back together. So now this guy is gonna like partner with JoJo and teach him some new shit. Yeah, of course. He's gonna teach him Italian hormone. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why in the last one when they said Speedwagon will know someone that they can go to in Italy that we didn't think of Zeppeli. God damn it. So disappointed in us. Yeah. Here. All manners of science, medicine, archaeology, and more are generously funded and exhaustively researched for the benefit of all humankind. But the Foundation also houses a darker purpose. One to unlock the secret of the stone masks. Don't worry, Mr. Speedwagon. He can't do anything. As long as he's under those UV lights, he will remain petrified and can pose no threat to us. <laughs> That's right. See those? Those pictures were taken in the cave where we originally found San Diego. Inspect them carefully. <gasps> oh, the horns! They all have different types of horns! So if the one on the bottom is supposed to be San Viento, then who are the others? According to von Stroheim, the Germans have uncovered another pillar at an undisclosed location somewhere on the European continent. Oh, is that true? Jojo and I are headed to Rome. Von Stroheim told him that we must go there in order to find the person who can help us. And it turns out that person is none other than the grandson of Will A. Zeppeli. Mr. Speedwagon, I'm sorry, but not a chance. My grandfather died tragically 50 years ago. My father then took up his torch and spent his life hunting the mask. We Italians have the strongest familial bonds of any culture in the world. We are very proud of that tradition. 
Hmm. A true man knows his history. Tell me this true man is your whole That's family That's not fair, dumb... Caesar. Jojo didn't know anything because I kept it all a secret from him. And I'm disappointed to say that his Hamon skills leave much to be desired. His Hamon is weak. It's worthless. His defeat of the Pillar Man was nothing but blind luck. I won't be forced to work with this imbecile. <laughs> We're done with the niceties here. I'm going to have to settle this with a good thrashing. Uh, are you gonna fight me or not? If there's any mocking to be done here, Kiss a I'll pigeon. take care of it. Thank you kindly. <laughs> you bastard! You gave this woman a hummon kiss. Like I just said, your weak hummon couldn't even defeat a woman, mm. sir. By <laughs> killing a poor woman who just got kissed. That's. What did I tell you? I refuse to accept your kind, your pathetic blood. Someone as arrogant as you just couldn't resist insulting my entire family, could you? Like to see my maneuver sure to eliminate the pillar men? It's a clean technique. Behold, my hormone bubble launcher. Uh. It's important to keep oneself clean. I myself have a thin layer of soap on my clothes at all times. You're looking a little dirty yourself there, Joe Star! Well, I am impressed that you're still conscious, but your weak little hormone couldn't even pop a bubble. Just look at you. Your breath is already all over the place. Enjoy your stay, Joestar. And next you'll say, now I'll lift my hormone spell, Signorina. Thank you. And now I'll lift my hormone spell, Signorina. Thank you. <laughs> While that woman was throttling me, I filled the pigeon with as much hormone as I could and hid it away in her mouth. I knew you'd kiss her, either because you had to withdraw your hormone or just to show off. So I was right. Turns out that you couldn't even beat a pigeon. Again, that poor woman. <laughs> Whole pigeon in her mouth. For quite a while. I saw that Jojo deal the cards right. Only cowards cheat. Uh, whatever do you... Deal the cards properly, Joestar. Or play elsewhere. Oh, fancy that. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> you really are serious about cleanliness. This huh? mirror is spotless. Stop provoking me, Joestar! Oh, I haven't even started! Calm down! <clears throat> it's been eight hours, Caesar. Do you mind telling us what we're waiting for? Oh, what the hell is a German soldier doing here? It looks like we're clear. Just who do you think guards the pillar man? He'll get us in there. Behave yourself. Again with the Germans? Mr. Speedwagon, huh? we have so many questions for you. I hope that we can all work together to stop the pillar men before they awake. <laughs> How's the beauty? Huh? Now don't be embarrassed you have a girlfriend back home. I'll be going home next week so we can finally get married. Really? He's dead. <sighs> I wanted to ask you, Jojo. Do you have a girlfriend back home? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. But you're such a great catch. Why doesn't anyone want to date you? Look! There's something on his head! I don't think that was there before! Calm down! They're just rocks as long as they're under those UV lights. No need to worry. Now get a closer look! The death of Von Stroheim's team is an important lesson to us all. Once we cut this pillar out, we'll have to seal it so that it will never see the light of day again. I can't tell what that dark spot is. It looks like a hole, but it might just be a shadow. Get a closer look. Huh? Do, do you hear that? He's on! He's supposed to be petrified! He's making up! Quickly, bring out more UV lamps! Yes, sir! Snail! Ooh, yeah! Death! 
This can't be happening! He's blocking out the lights with the blood of my own men! I see the world has undergone significant changes during my slumber. These insignificant inventions must be quite popular here. What'd he say? I said your pitiful illuminations are no match against my power! the time. Awaken, my masters! Harmon is only useful on the living. No reason to waste my powers on stone. We can't learn anything if they're not alive. Hmm. I'm surprised you Germans don't have more than, uh, zero guards down here. It's a little quiet. Hello! Stop being foolish, Jojo. Wait, something's wrong. Hmm? He's right. There should be guards posted all around this place. Huh? Really? <laughs> oh! Wait. Those are... They're husks of dead soldiers. What? What the hell happened to them? They're all dead! <laughs> Stop where you are! Whoever did this could still be here! We don't know what's out there! <laughs> what, what is that? I can't believe it! They're... They're alive! Run away, Mark! Get out of there now! No! Bye bye, Mark. Mark! Mark, no! Caesar! Caesar! What have they done? It appears to be night outside, Wamu. That is correct, Lord Cars. And what shall be your bidding? Easy. We will be searching for the whereabouts of the Red Stone of Asia. The stone is the last piece we need in order to complete the mask. Of course, Master ACDC. However, the human <laughs> world has changed much over the years that we slumbered. Long ago, it was the Emperor of Rome who possessed the stone. Unfortunately, I am certain that age has ended. Well then, we simply need to find where it is the stone currently calls home. Caesar! Kill me, please! Do it! You've got to kill me now! I can't. It's, I, I think you're going to die pretty so quick. Cold. Please, Caesar. I'm, I'm so scared. There's nothing we can do. I can't do anything to help this poor bastard. I feel so powerless. I must control myself. I feel like I'm going to explode. <sighs> Goodbye, friend. Caesar. Give her my love, Caesar. Every inch of it. He was so young. His whole life ahead of him. He worked hard for a living. He loved his family dearly. He loved his girl and his country. He was a good person. Clean cut, the boy next door. And they killed him. Now they die! Caesar! Don't you dare get in my way, Jojo! I'm going to enjoy every second of this! This is personal! I'll destroy these things myself! Alright, Season 1, Episode 14 of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure in the books. What'd you think? Good episode. Yeah. Good episode. Yeah. We got not only a good Italian... I don't want to say good, but a fun Italian accent. Sure, sure. But we got a Italian accent for a new member of our group. We do. Mr. Caesar Zeppeli, the grandson of Baron, whatever his name was, Zeppeli. Yeah. Yes. Uh, much like his grandfather, also a practitioner of Hamon. Yeah. And uh, doesn't find JoJo's skills to be all that impressive. No, not up to par. No. Yeah. Good with hormone. Yeah. Good with the ladies. He's Italian. 
True. They have, you know, that's like... Horse cocks. Well, we don't know. Well, Italians, Italians. No. Horse cocks. Well. But hmm. they do have uh, accents. Um, I did find it interesting that he was speaking to a woman in Italy mm-hmm. in English rather than Italian. Everyone in Italy knows English. Okay. Sure. I also find it interesting that this is, what was this, 1939 Italy? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Why is that interesting? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, they're driving around and stuff. Nazis are driving around like, it's okay. I'm just saying. This is a alternate history world where <laughs> things, yeah, things don't look like they're, you know. Sure. Like they're Nazified yet. I'm just saying. There's a war on. Yeah, but <laughs> if you're not involved in the war, it doesn't really look like anything's happening. I guess so. Sure. It's like every war we've ever had. I was guess we don't have wars on this soil. Yeah, but... I mean, we, uh, I mean, Pearl Harbor was kind of. No, nah, that's about the closest it's ever been. Yeah. A civil war. That's a different thing. I, we, we would have to go back the, to, like, the War of 1812. The Alamo. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, well, yeah. Fine. I'm just saying. But, you know, even World War II America looked different. Sure. Because it was like you had a lot of companies that were devoted to the war effort. So it's like... They had like shifted their their manufacturing, their production right. and stuff. So it's like things w- or things are different, right? 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 Just like COVID, you know, <laughs> created a difference in our everyday life. And like you go outside and you're like, huh, something feels weird. Yeah, it doesn't feel the same. Yeah, you would think uh, yes, you would think World War Two Italy would be like, huh, there'd be something. Yeah, but no, apparently not. There would, okay. there would at least be more propaganda like everywhere. You would think so. Flags. There'd be people patrolling. The restaurants would have a little bit more German food. Sure, sure. Yeah, but hey, whatever. You, you would think Mussolini would be all over the place. Sure. <laughs> Instead, we get pillar men. Okay. All three of them awake, yeah. ready to go. Yeah. The UV light apparently didn't do anything. Nope. Yeah, it's weird. Are they like, they're like Egyptian? That's what they look like. Yeah. Okay. I mean, right. if you go back far enough. Well, they had to have come from some pyramids. But it's like Italy okay. and Egypt are not like that close. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But we got Wamu. Which yeah. does sound kind of like a Egyptian name, hmm. um, and then we got ACDC, which sounds again like an Egyptian name. Yeah, and then I didn't get the last dude's name. Did you get his name? Yeah, Lord Cars. Cars, like the Fuck cars. Me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is Wamu? Is it? Wham? I don't know. I think wham? it's supposed to be Wham, but I don't know for sure. Lord Cars. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know. Um, I was really hoping that the ACDC guy would speak with an Australian accent, but not not so much. That would be cool. That would have been cool, right? And he's wearing like schoolboy shorts. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. That would have been great. I would have been like, yes! But instead, whatever. So he's an Egyptian with a little loincloth on. Fine, I'll take it. Again, they're just names. I know. They don't really signify anything, apparently. So, But that's okay. It's still a little bit of a connection when I hear the name and I'm like, oh, ACDC, okay. Sure. Yes. Um... So the speed wagon set up a foundation in order to, on the surface, provide 
money and research into a number of scientific and medical fields to benefit humanity. Yeah. But beneath the surface, the true purpose is a little more nefarious. Yeah. Because we don't know. I mean, well, you would say nefarious just because they're not being above board about it. But could you be above board about it? You can't tell people that this shit's going on. You can't tell people there's masks out there that turn people into vampires and then create zombies. You can't do that. It'd be a panic. No. You can't tell people that there's an ancient race of pillar men yeah, you can't. awakening and you know trying to kill all of humanity. First of all, people aren't going to believe you. No. The Nazis are the only ones that are going to believe you. Yeah. And they do. And they've seen it. But we know Speedwagon is a good man. Mm-hmm. So obviously it's not really a nefarious organization. No. It's just a cover for the real problems. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like Elon Musk. Uh oh. He has. Continue. Well, I mean, like he set up SpaceX, Tesla. Right, right, On right. the surface, all of these companies are sort of they're they're pushing the boundaries of technology. Yeah, and, and they're pushing forward uh, the idea of of clean energy right, and right. like you know, and then well, for SpaceX, I don't know, like the idea that like we can colonize other. Yeah, it's pushing forward. The frontier of man. Yeah, human exploration, all that. Correct. That's all on the surface. Right. What's underneath? Underneath, I mean, we don't know yet. Only people who are closest to Elon Musk will know what the true purpose of these companies is. Do we think the true purpose of these companies is just to make him money? No, because I don't think he cares about money anymore. Because, like, if, if it was just money, is like, I mean, you can retire with the money he's got now <laughs> and be done. Many people could have retired before yeah. with money they made. They choose not to because they can't. It's within them to say, no, I have to have more, more, more. He just doesn't strike me as a guy who cares about money. He strikes me as a guy who's got, like, a, a more... I don't know, a more like devious plan in mind or maybe not even devious, maybe just. Why can't it just be, I just want to push everything forward? Yeah. Well, because now he's got such a negative sort of, you know, there's such a negative stigma around him. That's because he's a moron. Well, it's because he fired people from Twitter and people got mad about that. Yeah. But I mean. Twitter was running. I mean, why be mad about that? He but, fired- that's, but that's my point. The reason he fired them is because he wants to make Twitter profitable. Ergo, he wants to make money. But if he cared about them being profitable, he would have just kept them as a private company. Or, I mean, kept them as a, a public company, not made them private. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Well, I mean, we know why he bought Twitter. Twitter was a... Well, yeah. That was a whole, you know, censorship thing, whatever. Of course. But it's like, yeah, beyond that, I'm like, I, I don't know. Like, beyond that, I do think he is a he is a person who, yeah, he, he wants to... He wants to push the boundaries. He wants to get to Mars. He just All wants right. to... He wants to be the guy to be able to claim that, like, he did these things. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say. So... It it may be as simple as he wants to be the guy who gets credit, mm-hmm. and it's also, and this is what people would probably see negatively, is that it's the reason he bought Twitter is because he thinks he knows what's best and is pushing things that way. Yeah. Right? Like, we need solar because he thinks that's the best thing for us. Yeah. Right? We need to go to Mars because this planet will soon become uninhabitable and we need to actually make plans to get away. And again, we need to try and further ourselves. Yeah, become a type one civilization. Right. Conquer our solar system, conquer the planet. Yeah. Yeah. I think more than that too, I think it's uh, it's about immortalizing his name. Yeah, well, of course. And like, I think that matters more to these people than money does. Sure. Money's the first step. Yeah. 
And it's like, okay, then they get the money, and they're like, well, I got the money, so now what? Right. Now it's making yeah. sure that I'm, I go down in history. Right. Exactly. That you speak his name in the same breath as the Mona Lisa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Mary Magdalene and, and Jesus. Jesus, basically, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. He, he wanted the, the order should be Elon Musk, then Jesus. Well, because, because here's the thing. You have two sides of the immortal coin, right? Yeah. It's like, what, what do you want to be closer to, Jesus or right. Hitler? Right. Because like that, those are the two sides. Sure. Yeah, and so like he's trying to, <laughs> to be closer to the Jesus side. People today think he's closer to the Hitler side. Yeah. They believe he bought Twitter to control the narrative, even though his motive was to... His thing his was that... His stated motive was to keep the public discourse free for everyone yes. to take part. Yeah, his his theory was that it was already being controlled. Right. The narrative is already being controlled by the left. So he buys it and, you know, deletes all these bots, cancels or, you know, fires all these people. And then, yeah, now it's supposedly running as it should be. Right. That's the idea. Sure. If that is true, even if he bought Twitter just to run it into the ground to be like, this is not a, this is a, a news program, news outlet, whatever that is like. Just just pushing out like fake news, controlling the narrative. Right. It's all deceit. It's all, you know, government deceit, whatever. And he buys it, runs it into the ground just for the purpose of like making sure that that's eliminated. Right. I, I see that as a positive. Okay. If it's true. What if someone like him uses it to dismantle other things because they don't like them? Yeah. He could. I'm saying there are many people who could do that. They have enough money to be able to do that kind of thing. Buy the things they don't like and just destroy them. Yeah. So So far, he hasn't really done anything with it. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. He's he's actively kept a lot of, like, uh, big right-wing names off of it still, which people were surprised by and, and angry and upset now about. But he was just like, no, he's like, I, you know, I'm not like a super right wing guy. He's like, I just, you know, I wanted free speech. These people, though, are problematic. Right. So they should be kept off. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I would like to believe he's a good person who's trying to, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But. Here's another thing. History would tell us people lose their way. Yeah, I was going to say, the problem is once you become that wealthy and have that much power, can you actually be good? I don't know. It's the Batman dilemma. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's, it's like on the surface, you're like, okay, Batman is like a vigilante for justice. But if you dig just even a little, like a millimeter below the surface, yeah. you're like, oh, he's a billionaire who could just use his money to like fix Gotham. Right. He does it the way he's doing it because he wants to do that. Because he wants to. He's a psychopath. Yes. Yeah. So you're like, okay, well, like, you, you know, do you, do we have to funnel all of our money into SpaceX to get us to Mars or is that not the fucking thing to do right now? Right. Is there a better use of your billions of dollars? Right. And these major corporations. I don't know. I mean, you would think so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But then history has also taught us that, like, we can't just keep throwing money at, like, fucking poverty. It's not going to fix it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. He's tackling something else. He's like, well, that'll never be solvable. Sure. Sure. So why not like focus on something? But again, he's only focusing on things he wants to focus right, on. Right, exactly. Like, you know. But that's what it. I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's what it takes. <sighs> I guess it takes billionaires to yeah, to at least find something that is on the like better side of the spectrum to like, you right. know, devote their their time and money towards. Sure. Because he could he could have all this money and then be fucking evil. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know. So the wait and see. will tell. Yeah. Hmm. Um, we got a Hamon Kiss. It was able to... Tra- yeah, transfer or like store the energy... And make the woman do what he wants her to do. Yeah. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Hmm. Say again, new techniques. Yeah, that's just straight up like rape. It's not rape if she doesn't do something not sexual. Yet. Sure, not yet. <laughs> if I just mind control you into killing someone, that's not rape. That's murder. But it is a sexual assault because he had to kiss he her. He did in have order to, to do kiss it. her. So if I kiss you, right, and then you go kill someone, yeah. Did I rape you? No, I don't think a kiss. At is best, rape. it's sexual assault. Right, it's sexual assault. I don't think a kiss is rape. Is it's it? not rape. No. No, we're not experts, though. Yeah, I was like, I feel like I'm not qualified. We're not to qualified to speak on what's rape and what's not. Right. Uh, although I would like to know, because uh, oh. <laughs> you've been forcibly kissing some people. Well, but there was—he didn't forcibly kiss her. She wanted it. She wanted it. Uh oh. Yeah, no, we're definitely but, not qualified. No, for it's different because you can actually tell she wanted it. That is true. All of her, all of the indications. Yeah. Everything about it. He, he was in the middle of a seduction. She, she was leaning in. She closed her eyes. Yeah. Girls don't close their eyes before a kiss unless they want it. Huh. Interesting. You, you can put that statement right up there with... Yeah. <laughs> women don't get pregnant unless they unless like it. Unless they liked it. Yeah, yeah unless they okay. enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> problematic. Yeah. Hmm. Guys don't get hard unless they're enjoying it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, very interesting technique. Yeah. Um, then he whipped out the bubble. Yeah, he has a special power, special move, special move. His yeah, his special move, I guess. And yeah, it's a bubble attack. Bubble attack that looks like it kind of like like a big, it like hits him, yeah. and then like captures him in a bubble, yeah. It was like the boy in the bubble. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, cool, I guess. I mean, I mean, I feel like they're all everyone's going to have their own like special attack. Yeah, and I feel like JoJo's going to be the one that like learns all of them and combines it into like one amazing attack. Yeah. So, okay. One for all. Well, let's not call it that. I uh, we won't call it that. <laughs> but we know. But that's what it'll be. And it seems like we're doing this generational thing of like passing the powers down mm. or whatever, which is literally what One for All is. Mm. Again, my hero came out after this. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. Yeah, I know. Huh. So it's crazy that this ripped it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then uh, that, that poor girl got a pigeon in the mouth. Yeah, that's gross. Because you know they were sitting in there for a while, so you know it shat in her mouth. Pigeons are filth. They're rats with wings. Yeah. Even the Italian ones. Especially the Italian ones. Well, I'm sorry, but... Look. It's a, no, no, no. It's hold okay. on. Okay, go ahead. What? Yeah. 1939 Rome. I know. Okay. Not quite as bad as now. I know. No, 1939 Rome was a paradise That's what I'm saying. compared to today. I'm saying the pigeons at that time... You're right. ...were much cleaner. A little more sophisticated, a little classier. They probably washed themselves in the, the fountains. Sure. Right? So, probably better. But they're pigeons. But they're still a fucking pigeon they're in your still, mouth. They're still going to shit once every 10 seconds. <laughs> And that thing was in her mouth for like a minute. Yeah, that was a long time. It pooped a ton in her mouth. That's fucking nasty. Yeah. That's the part about like the whole like putting a hamster in your ass thing that like never appealed to me. That's the part that never appealed to you? Is that like if this thing's, if this rodent's crawling around inside your butt, inside your intestines. It's going to be pooping and peeing in there. 
Yeah. That's disgusting. You poop in there. It was my poop. I don't Your pee in there. I don't poop. pee in my ass. I mean, the hamster, it's like little tiny. But still, it's disgusting. I mean, I agree with you. It's disgusting. But that would be the least of my issues with people shoving hamsters up their asses. The first would, would be. I would never let someone else do it. Don't shove a hamster up your ass. <laughs> yeah, I would never let someone else do it. Is, that's what you're saying, right? Is you, that's the problem you have? Is no. someone else doing it? No. What's, I don't understand. My problem is with anyone doing it. Right, anyone else doing no, it. No, anyone at all. Yeah, exactly. Including you. <laughs> I wasn't saying me. I'm not going to shove a hamster up your ass. I know, but I'm you're, saying, you're, you're apparently going to shove one up your ass. But you're going to be okay with... You will you would be okay with putting a hamster up your own ass? No. Oh. No one should put a hamster up anyone's ass at ever, at any point in time. Number one, the hamster can't give consent. Well... Unless it reaches in for a kiss, it closes its it eyes. <laughs> then you're okay legally. See, the the reason I don't the reason Except not really, because a hamster doesn't live very long. Yeah. So age of consent is what? Like an hour? Uh, I don't know. You have to do the math on it. You have to figure out yeah, how long they live. And you have then, to calculate its lifespan. Yeah. Calculate about where 18 would fall. Right. Unless you're like in Malaysia, then would be like 14. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah the, reason, the reason I don't really buy into the whole like animal give consent thing mm-hmm. is because it opens up a... It opens up a whole thing about, about owning pets. Mm-hmm. Then it's yeah, like the they can't discussion. give consent to be owned. Right, and it's like the whole discussion becomes, well, then you shouldn't have a pet at all. And it's like, well, that's ridiculous. I mean, I agree. You, it's okay to have pets. You know yeah. why? Because if a dog doesn't live with me, it'll have a much worse life. Yeah. That, Although then again, if a woman doesn't fuck me... That's what I'm saying. She'll have a much worse and, life. And honestly, that was the whole... <laughs> that was honestly the whole ideology behind slavery. Yeah, it's true. It was like, they're going to have a worse life being free than if they live on my compound and I right. I provide them with food, food and shelter. shelter and I have sex with them occasionally to I mean, you keep know. up their libido. <laughs> That's interesting. <sighs> keep them skilled so that they know what they're doing when they find their own mate eventually when they're free. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah, it's all educating them in the ways of carnal knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I understand the argument. Yeah. Me too. I don't agree with it, but I understand it. Right. Yeah. Jesus. <sighs> All right. Um, Mark is dead. Yeah, he got like his head split in half. It. The dude just like walked. He like into walked him. through him and just like basically like phased it out of existence. Yeah, he basically did like a shoulder bump, but right? Like, but then no contact. It was right. just like he just went through him. Yeah, and he then wherever out, he touched, that is just like gone. Yeah, he took out like that arm and like that side of the fucking head. Jesus. And then he was screaming. Again, like all the JoJo characters who have had like brutal injuries, they're still alive. Yep. And crying and screaming just long enough for the heroes to clench their fists and think about, you know, he had a family. He had a girl waiting for him back home and like now they're yeah. pissed. Yeah. Yeah, Caesar's pissed. If I were Mark, I'd be pissed. I just fucking drove y'all here. Yeah. Well, if Mark wasn't such a little bitch and ran away from the desiccated corpses of his comrades and just stood there and said, yeah, they're dead. True. Might not have had this problem. Brought that on himself. So... Yeah, I'm just saying. Another classic case of <sighs> blaming the victim. Yeah, a little bit. I'm just saying, he put himself in a position where... He's a guilty victim. I'm sorry. He shouldn't have been. Yeah. You know? I would have drove them there and then been like, see Peace y'all. Out. Peace out. Yeah, like show them. I'm going to head home. You know, lift up, uh, roll the thing over and say, right down that tunnel, go. Yep. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be with my girl. Yeah. See y'all later. I'm not equipped to handle this. You know, obviously. Right. 
you guys know what you're doing. I'll uh, see you later. Plus, what was he going to do? Because there are supposed to be guards. What was he going to do with these Talk. three fucking people? Talk to the guards and get them through, right? He was going to make, up, make up a story. What's the story? I don't know. Yeah, the Nazis are just... They're I they're know. very malleable when it comes to security around their well, fucking... Well, I guess Ario Speedwagon would have some clout, right? But even then, he was captured by the Nazis exactly. in the previous incident. Saying. So... Like, I don't know what the plan was. I don't know. Like Now I'm glad it went south for Mark. Well, fuck him. He didn't have a plan. Yeah, it didn't seem too well thought He out. acted like a puss when he saw his the husks of his comrades. I mean, like, seriously, if you were there mm-hmm. and you saw these other people just drained of all of their blood <laughs> laying on, on the ground. That would be my reaction. I would look at them and go, <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sucks for you. Yeah, better you than me. Yeah. Hmm. It just seems not much of a soldier. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know? Maybe he was just regular German army. Conscripted in. Yeah, because, I mean, he had a pretty sweet gig, right? He's just driving around. Italy? I mean, I think he was a... I think he was supposed to be a guard there. And that's how he was going to sneak them in. But okay. again, I don't know how. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe distract the other guards while they... While the three of them go past. Two of them. The size of Arnold Schwarzenegger, like his biggest. Yeah. Yeah, with equally ridiculous accents. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. They they both look like they came straight out of Double Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> and then Ario Speedwagon, his loud mouth narrating everything that's happening. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what the plan was. There. Yeah. Because the other the only other thing I can think of is Mark was going to take out all the guards that were there. <laughs> well, and we saw how much of a pussy he was. That's so what that I'm was saying. Not that's happen. not going to happen. So uh, he didn't even have a gun on him, did he? I think he just had a flashlight. Uh, he probably had a sidearm. He probably never took it out of his holster. Jesus. Stupid. Confronted with three Egyptian-looking motherfuckers. Doesn't even pull his gun. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even talk about the, the uh, horn in his head. It turned into a giant drill. That was interesting. And like shredded everybody yeah. apart. Yeah, that was very interesting. It could come out of different parts of his body. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Then he connected everybody together. And then drained them all at once. Yeah. Like a human centipede. Yeah crazy it's cool power these powers are a little over the top yeah and they don't seem like they should be able to be taken down so easily yeah, one more episode so <laughs> one more episode we'll get probably. all we'll get all three of these ones done probably yeah uh interesting uh, I do like that they're they're kind of like let's just go check and see what the humans are, are are up to around now. Let's see what's changed. Yeah, I mean that's what you do, right? If you woke up from a, if you woke up from a th- thousand multiple year. thousand year coma. Yeah, I guess so. Well, you probably first go take a piss. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Although your bladder would be like... I was going to say, if you it was petrified too, right? Yeah. So like all you would have to do is make sure you pissed right before you went into the stone. Yeah. And then when you come out, you're like, it's just like I literally just pissed. Yeah. I'd probably want to go get a cheeseburger. But that's because I'm just always hungry, so it doesn't matter how long it's but, been since I ate. Well, there was no cheeseburgers a thousand years ago. What? So, so it would be like, what, did, what would... What did they eat a thousand years ago that you'd be excited to wake up to and, and go eat? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Fucking a giant cricket, giant spider. No, 
Egyptians with a uh, scarabs. Yeah. No, thank you. I mean, they ate other they ate, like yeah, ox other and yeah. you know, meat. I was gonna say it'd, it'd be like some form of meat. Yeah. Well, but now so you you're in the Italy. World. You get to have pizza and pasta. But they're not gonna like it. You don't know that. They're gonna taste it and be like, "Ugh." You don't know that. I want ox meat. Well, maybe. But even then, if you're just like, I just want meat. True. Meat and alcohol. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. True. You can get that. You can get that pretty much anywhere. Go to an Italian deli Mm. and just eat all the meat. True. All the salami and the capicola and the soppressat. Everything you want. Yeah. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I could go for some of that right now. It's not Italy. Okay. Hmm. Nah, Italy sucks. We'll go to New York. We'll get the real shit. We'll get the real shit. Yeah. Yeah, when I say Italy, I mean Little Italy. Yeah. In New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I say Italy, I mean Buca de Beppo over by Stormborough Mall. Yeah, I don't go to Buca de Beppo anymore. No one does. <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah, it was never great, but... yeah. When we went it's for... like going to Maggiano's. We went for London's birthday like years ago. Yeah. And we like ordered the Italian cake that they have like for dessert for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they cut into it and served it to us. It was like moldy inside. We we're like, what the fuck? That's how it comes. Oh, no, that's <laughs> how it goes back to the kitchen. And then we get refunded oh, our that's money. the book of the Beppo way. <sighs> yeah, I, I can't do... I can't do Buca. I can't do Maggiano's anymore. Mm-hmm. I can't do macaroni grill, mm-hmm. Olive Garden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like any of the Italian chains. I just mm-hmm. can't. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. They're all microwaved, pre made like meals on a plate that they like fucking throw in a microwave and nuke it. Sure. And it comes out all it's cause they're radioactive. Thousands of pastas an hour. They no. can't. There's no way. Goddamn breadsticks are good, though. They're really good. Fucking breadsticks are good. Yeah. 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 True. That's all I would want if I woke up from a thousand-year nap. Some breadsticks. Breadsticks. Just bread. <laughs> some, <laughs> some Olive Garden breadsticks. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Okay. That would be wild if someone, like, woke up, like a pillar man woke up, like, today's time, and it's, like, some thousand-year-old man, he, like, wakes up, and he's like, oh, shit, Red Lobster. And you're like, What? Excuse me. Wow. Yeah, he's like, I know what that is. I want those Cheddar Bay biscuits, man. <laughs> <sighs> he talks like a Gen Z. That'd yeah. be the worst. That would be the worst. <laughs> Jesus. Everything's bussing. Ugh. Ugh. Um, okay. They're looking for the Red Stone of Asia. Yeah. Now, is that Asia the band or <laughs> Asia the continent? Uh, who's to say? Yeah. In this show? Who, <laughs> who knows? knows? Uh, yeah. So, now the question is, where's the stone? Mm-hmm. Does someone have the stone? Yeah, it was like the last was seen the was, was the Emperor of Rome. Right. Hmm. Who is the last Emperor of Rome? I don't know. I don't either. I mean, if I remember my gladiator history correctly, it would be Marcus Aurelius. Okay. Technically, it would be Joaquin Phoenix, but. <laughs> okay. But I, in, in actual history, I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. Wild that Joaquin Phoenix was in that movie. True. Even more wild, Gladiator 2 is is coming. (sighs) Fuck. Yeah. Well, if it's half as good as History of the World Part 2, then Um, we're in for a treat. Yeah, it'll definitely be at least half as good. (laughs) At least half as good. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard to be as half as good as movie 43, basically. Right. 
This this is the history of the world part part movie forty three. Right. The mm. bar is low. Yeah. God. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, we got three new bads. They have a purpose. They have a goal. Mm. So that's why I'm saying they might last a little longer. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, although it, I, mean, I guess it's possible any other pillarman out there might also have that same goal. Yeah, it's interesting. Or are they implying that these are the only other pillarmen? Well, no, because we know that there's a one. Yeah. The big bad. Um, oh, wait, no, no. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we don't know. These are the three that were depicted in that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely more. I think there's definitely more like pillar structures somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So there's going to be more than just these three. Okay. Because this was just the one they found in Europe. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I would assume there's more. Uh, I don't know, though. Yeah, we'll see. We don't know. I mean, we're, yeah, we have 12 episodes left of this season. Oh, yeah. So there's probably more. It's probably about six more. (laughs) One every two episodes. Yeah. (laughs) Makes sense. They'll be increasingly stronger, seemingly undefeatable. Sure. Yeah, and then wiped out pretty easily because friendship. Yeah. True. I love it. Uh, and then we also still, at some point, may get uh, Dio. I still think he's not gone forever. I still think he's coming back at some point. Him or a relative? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still iffy on when he would have been able to procreate. Well, it could be, like, like we said, it could be like a I know that. Or, I'm just yeah. saying... Right now, they seem to be direct descendants. Yeah. Right? So if they're going the descendant route, I feel like it's direct. They could pull some Fast and Furious bullshit where, yeah, he appropriated well, sure, at some point. Of course they can. I'm just saying, I might at that point say, eh, come on. You know, you're playing a little fast and loose here. Right as he was falling into the fire of the yeah. mansion... There was a woman a there, woman, and he slipped his and wiener he slipped in her. his dick into her, came real quick. Ah! Yeah. And she got pregnant immediately. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe. Who knows? She got pregnant and gave birth immediately. And, again, we don't know if he could have fucked an impregnated woman while he was a vampire. And now I there's a little he, blade running around out I think there. he can, yeah. So. Yeah. So yes, then I would say okay, because we there was a whole period of time where we had no idea what he's doing. Yeah, so, him and that little yeah. apothecary guy running around. Correct. He could have impregnated him. I mean, who knows? He could impregnate a whole bunch of women. Yeah, there could be thousands of little Dio descendants out there. How many women? You know what? Hmm. Maybe that's what Elon Musk is doing. That's why he has so many children. Maybe that's the way to get his name. He gets his name in the history books, and then he makes sure that his progeny rule forever. Yeah. Because he has like 12 kids. He doesn't have that many kids. Yeah, he has a lot of kids. You really have 12 kids? He has like 10 to 12, something like that. Oh, I thought he had like three. No, he has way more than that. He has at least eight or nine kids. Yeah, maybe that's He's like he Nick Cannon. That might be what he's doing. He's going to have each kid rule a different planet in the solar system. There you go. He's like the fucking foundation over here. Exactly. Except instead of like cloning himself, it's his, his yeah, it's, progeny. Yeah. yeah, literally. But that's because but we, they, we don't have the technology. Eventually, exactly. One eventually of them, they will yeah. clone him and then he will rule in perpetuity and just keep cloning himself. Awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Awesome. <sighs> Who would you rather have ruling in perpetuity as a clone of himself? Hmm. Elon Musk. Okay. Donald Trump. Okay. Or Joe Biden. <laughs> I mean, I don't like any of those choices, but... 
or Nick Cage. I Nick Cage all day. Yeah. All day, every day. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That was a silly that was a silly question. Yeah, why would you even Yeah, that was easy. That's um, like asking who could kill and throwing John Wick in there. Now that's who I'd want to rule. John Wick. John no, Wick. I want Keanu Reeves. Not Keanu Reeves. No, John Wick. fuck that. Keanu Reeves is a good man. He's a good yeah, man. Yeah, but he's a good Canadian. But John Wick can get shit done. I think Keanu can get shit done when he wants to. But him doing the Matrix stuff, Matrix 4, I don't know. That was a favor. I know, but that's what I'm saying. We don't need our ruler. Like, that's how nice he is. Think about that. We don't need our ruler doing favors for other people. He said, I know it's going to ruin the reputation. It's going to drag the franchise down even further than the other two sequels did. Mm -hmm. But I will come back so that you can get this movie made. Because I know it's what you really want to do. It didn't even seem like it's what she wanted it's to do. It's not what she wanted to do. She just wanted, she needed money. But, yeah. still. It, didn't, it also didn't make that much money. No, but she got paid. Yeah. That's all that mattered. I'm just saying that Keanu is a good man. Too nice. I don't know if that's... Too nice. Matrix 4 no, for no, me no. was an example of too hold nice. Hold on, hold on. But here's the thing. That's where he crossed the line. What if we get Keanu Reeves, who, when necessary, turns into John Wick? Because he can do all the shit John Wick can do. Yeah. So you really get both. I know, but that's the problem, is that you also get Neo, Matrix 4 Neo. You yeah. also get Lake House motherfucking Keanu Reeves. Well, again, you know, that was to work with Sam but, again. You also get Johnny Silverhand, and he gets shit done. You also I mean, get you also get Johnny dies. Mnemonic. Yeah, and he gets shit where it needs to go. I'm just saying, it's not a bad it's not a bad deal. But that is an interesting question. If you could, if you could be ruled by someone. And it was based on all the roles they've ever played. Who would be the perfect one? Hmm. Ray Fiennes. Okay. You get Oscar Schindler. Right. No. No, sorry. <laughs> you get Ammon Gareth. <laughs> yep. You get Voldemort. You do get Voldemort. You get the menu. <laughs> you do get the menu. You what get the Grand thing? Budapest. You get yes, he's awesome in that. <laughs> uh, you get the English patient. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to say hmm, Vin yeah. Diesel. No, stop. You get Riddick. <laughs> you get Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> Whoever the fuck he plays in that. Yeah. And then you get Dominic Toretto. And he never sure. loses. I well, mean, hold on. We don't know yet. Do you think they're going to kill him off in, in the final one? I don't think so. I and, don't feel uh, like it. Although, then again, it's the ultimate, like, he set up his whole family. He sacrifices himself he sacrifices to, to save everyone else. Yeah. So maybe. But I don't see it. No. I don't see it. Hmm. Um, man. It's tough. So many people out there. It's almost like, like, because you don't want to pick an actor who's done a shit ton because right. they've all. That means that they've done some crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna be like, oh, you got you got classic people. You got like Bruce Willis. You know, you got 
So, you know, but then you're like, but then, yeah, Bruce Willis has taken a lot of shit roles lately. True. True. Nick Cage, same thing. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You got to get somebody who, like, had a prime and then just never had a fall off. Or died. Or died. Yeah. <laughs> and we're basically bringing them back. Right. Okay. Hold up. Heath Ledger. Mm. The romance. Sure. How to lose a guy, whatever. No. Wh- whatever one he was in. Ten things I hate about you. Ten things I hate about you. How to lose a guy in ten days and ten things I hate about you. Ten days I hate about your how to lose a guy. Knight's no. Tale. Yeah, Knight's Tale. The Order. <laughs> Joker. Wow. Well, I call it Joker. Sure. The Dark Knight. But Um You know what? I'm going to go with Patrick Swayze. You know, I feel like we're being a little narrow-minded here by naming only males. Okay. Then in that case, Don't it's got to be Sigourney Weaver. Oh, okay. I think you're going to say Meryl Streep. I was like, Don't you dare No, say Meryl, Meryl Streep hasn't done any, like... She sucks. Badass Overrated. roles. <laughs> Stop. Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver, Weaver is, like, the ultimate, like, Would badass. be good. Yeah. And you could see her. It's like she has the gravitas. Oh, Avatar. I mean, come on, there it is. Yeah, hands down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Scarlett Johansson? Nah. Just because, nah. you know, it'd be nice to have a a queen like that to look up to. <sighs> Home Alone 3, Scarlett Johansson. Oh, then yes. <laughs> Good Lord. When she was at her hottest. Uh, uh, that's the man who wasn't there. Never seen it. You should. Or Ghost World. Yeah, I almost watched Ghost World. I I bought the Criterion and mm-hmm. I never watched it. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. I was thinking about buying the 4K Criterion stuff that they've been releasing. Mm-hmm. Some of those, they have a Wally on 4K mm. criterion, which I was like, mm. okay. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. But I don't need to be buying all that shit. I already went down that path before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Daniel Radcliffe? No. Daniel Day Lewis. I mean, he played Lincoln. <laughs> that, that was going to be my reason for no. <laughs> but he did a good job. I know. He was Lincoln. I didn't like that movie. I didn't like the movie, yeah. but he was amazing. It, it literally felt like I was watching Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> Robert De Niro? Nah. 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 Same with Pacino. Nah. Nah. He'd be too obnoxious, too loud. Mm-hmm. Plus, I lost respect for him after the whole Dunkachino. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Well, a lot yeah, of good well. possibilities. Yeah, something to think about for our future rulers that are clones of themselves that exactly. we'll, we will elect into office. Exactly. Yeah. You okay. Know. Anything else for episode 14? I don't believe so. I think that's going to do it for us, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.